Hello, my name is Ilya and I am a software tester. Uh, this is the first time I am recording a clip uh, in English. It's not my native language, so it's gonna be fun. Let's get started. Today's topic is abstract testing model. I already created the model and uh, we will see it in a minute. Before we dive in, I would like to pay your attention to the name. It's called abstract. Uh, because it's supposed to be applied to any kind of processes where testing or evaluation of something involved. For instance, uh, it could represent software testing process or maybe some uh, interview process from an um, HR point of view. She or he evaluates the candidate and see if communication skills in enough or something like that. Uh, and uh, for technical leads uh, point of view or maybe some manager point of view, somebody who already works for the company and uh, this company has open position. Right? Uh, one more interesting example can be interview process from candidate point of view. That's also testing process. He evaluates um, the office or maybe company itself, um, the team he is going to work with, all that stuff. Okay. The model looks like this. Let's have a short description for each abstraction uh, represents here. First of all, we have stakeholders. The, um, somebody who interested in the result of evaluation of our product. The product is the mm, something, it can be even person or this can be software or something that we need to evalu evaluate too. Um, I, uh, I do not uh, represent the tester here. There is no box for him, but we can match it, it's somebody here. Um, the stakeholders and we have a mission. This is a kind of goal for our testing, why we test uh, the, the product. Also we have approaches for the testing. It can be scripted is, uh, and or exploratory or something in between. Most of the cases we will have something in between. Then asking question. It can be literally asking question if it's uh, something related to people or it can be mm, setting the input for the product to get some output or response. Right? It can be also answer in words, some phrases or it can be some output from the software or something else. Uh, depends on what we are testing. Um, tools and techniques, I believe it's self-exploratory. Uh, we also have users and their needs and we evaluate the product to uh, see if it's suitable to the user's needs. And to evaluate this, we use oracles that are heuristics um, to uh, understand if it's like positive or negative, or something like that. We have also quality that we assess, like our, our perception of quality. And in this case, it will be kind of um, gradient of all the uh, user needs and how the product uh, suits there something like that. Um, after all this process, uh, quality assessment, we, we I mean tester, uh, generate um, feedback. The feedback uh, can be everything. Uh, it can be yes-no question. Uh, it's not the best uh, feedback, but it can be. Um, but most of the cases it, it uh, can be some kind of story. Uh, what gain from this evaluation. He provided to the stakeholders. Now Let's see how we can read it all together. So, stakeholders set up uh, the mission for the tester um, before he start testing. Then, tester, having in mind this mission, chooses uh, between approaches, scripted, exploratory, something in between. Uh, then he uh, take into account all this stuff. He tester um, uses tools and techniques for asking questions to product. Um, product uh, generate responses and uh, tester applies oracle that are heuristics to the to this response to evaluate the suitability of the product uh, to the user's needs. Uh, when he finished or he or she finished uh, this process, he create the feedback and provide this feedback to the stakeholders. And finally, let's consider some common uh, pitfalls we have in testing. First of all, the stakeholders can forget to set up the mission. Or they can have something in, in mind, uh, what they wanted to see, like what kind of feedback they want. But uh, uh, tester assume if, it's not, if the 
mission wasn't uh, clearly stated to the uh, tester, he can assume something, something common uh, mission we have. And he, sometimes he will, like, everything will be okay, sometimes he will fail. So this is the first bit for you need to always, uh, uh, tester need to always ask stakeholders about a mission if they do not, um, didn't clear, uh, clearly uh, say about it. This, this was the first one. Uh, the second one is uh, this part, providing the feedback. So the tester can uh, do the really great job uh, uh, with the quality assessment of the product. He, he can um, create a really good feedback but uh, do not provide it to stakeholders. Um, for, the, for example, he has some uh, deadline but uh, he provided after. Uh, stakeholders are going to have um, to make some decision according to this feedback and they need it in, uh, for a certain time. Um, also the feedback can be like yes, no. It depends on the mission of course but yeah, it's really poor feedback and you need to have something that uh, helps um, stakeholders to make their decision. Uh, the third one can be that uh, users, uh, if it's something new, this, this product, right? Uh, so we don't have user yet. So we need to guess what they need, what they want from this uh, product, and we can be wrong. Uh, other thing that the users we can have a lot of them. Some subs we can divide into subgroups and see what uh, each kind of groups what uh, their needs are, uh, something like that. So it's kind of not that clear uh, with the users here and their uh, needs for the product. So the, also the mess up the oracles can be the problem. We can choose something that not appropriate to to the, our product. Mm. One more thing that also sometimes for, forgotten uh, is that um, the test this part of this, for example, choosing the tools and techniques and uh, maybe some uh, approaches that the test, uh, tester uses uh, is uh, subjective and his uh, testers understanding of the users and their needs also subjective and uh, uh, using the oracles they can be also subjective and it really depends on the knowledge of the testing experience with testing and knowledge of product for example all this thing uh, that this feedback can be different if different uh, testers uh, doing this quality assessment so it should should be considered by stakeholders so it probably can be some group of people some testers not only one guy so that's actually it we've done for today see you next time